Hi my honeys! Hey! Hey, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be playing with some B Bella cosmetic eyeshadows and some lashes that they sent over. So um, I've actually have already played with B Bella cosmetics when they collabed with Jenny Rivera. Um, that palette was so bomb. I created two looks. If you have not seen that, I'm gonna go ahead and link the video here, and then I will also post it down in the um, description box if you are interested to check that out. That was the first time that I've ever used their eyeshadows, and let me tell you, I was really, really impressed. I love the way that the eyeshadows blended um, and then they reached out and they sent over two palettes so they sent over the basic browns I dropped it and it broke so I'm so sorry um, no it's not what you know it just it just broke um, so we have the basic browns palette that they sent over and then they um, sent the maroon um, mayhem 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 I don't know you guys already know I don't know how to pronounce it so whatever so they sent over this one too um and then they sent over six pair of eyelashes i posted these on my instagram you guys went crazy you guys wanted me to put them on and show you guys what they look like um and the best part is that they're only a dollar a dollar <laughs> i wish they're 11.99 which is still not a very bad price point i feel like a lot of lashes lately are like 25 to like 35 even 40 dollars for a pair of eyelashes um so these do run for 11 dollars and 99 cents so they sent over six pairs which i'm going to put them on for you guys here so you guys can see what they look like i'm going to be going in i think with the basic browns palette I don't know why i feel like because since it's fall i want to go in with browns so i'm going to go into this little palette so for my brows i already have them done i went into my color pop cosmetics brow pencil you guys are no all know oh my god i can't talk today you guys all know that i've been obsessed with the color pop um pencil and this is in the shade soft black i've been really really in love um and then i'm trying out a brand new product well not brand new but brand new to me it's the b louise um p louise base so i've seen a lot of people use this um on their eyes like if you're using like any colorful eyeshadows like guess this has been a really really good base for that you guys know that i use my urban decay eden primer a lot that's like my ride or die chick um but we're gonna switch it over to a brand new girl so let's see <laughs> i'm gonna cheat on my urban decay eden primer with the p louise base so i hope that it really you know holds up um, i got the number two shade number two they have different shades at the morphe store that is where i picked this product up i saw it there and i was like let me see. I guess the number two is the most used um, base that people normally use or that they love. Um, so I picked it up too and I was like, well, let's see what happens. But before we do get started, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it so far. Also, subscribe to my channel. There is a little notification bell. If you do click that, it's going to notify you every single time that I upload a brand new video here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and jump. I'm going to be going into my concealer Sigma brush, the F75. Remember to use code Sandy at checkout and you do save 10% um, I feel like Sigma always has sales so definitely check out their Instagram or even their website and add my code okay so it looks thick um, it is more on the pinky peachy side so let's see I got a haircut and I don't know about you guys but whenever I get a haircut my hair goes crazy like this like I have like my little baby hair jumping all over the place so so far it kind of feels like my urban decay eden primer not even going to lie you guys i feel like it feels the exact same way um i don't remember how much the i think this was like 15 bucks i think i will list everything down below uh, but you can also use um the code that i use is from jenny69 it's cheetos and you do get i think 10 percent off so use her code and get some money off um when you go into the Morphe store inside, if you are, I've mentioned this before, but if you do live in Oregon, we do have a Morphe store in the Washington Square. So use your favorite YouTuber code. Um, maybe one day I get to have a code and I can share it with you guys. A lot of you guys always ask me too, do you have a code? I'm like, no, one day. Um, but if I ever do, I will let you guys know so you can use it and save 10%, but use Jenny69. But here is the palette. So you guys can see um, we have a lot of browns, a lot of neutrals, very fall colors. So I'm so excited to use this palette today. 
Um, but yeah, it's really gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let's start with the voiceover. So before we actually get started with the tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys the lashes. So this style is called Bay, which is the one that we're going to be using in today's tutorial. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not too long, not too short. It's like the perfect fullness. It's wispy. I love it. This next lash we have is called Sassy. It's very natural, but it, yet it still has that nice wisp that I like, where sometimes I don't wanna wear such a heavy lash during the week. I want something more subtle, but yet still wispy. This is definitely the eyelash that I would definitely go for for during the week. This next pair is called Sasha. It's more of a fuller lash, but yet it's still on the wispy side, um, but just longer wisps, if that makes any sense. Um, but once it's on the eye, oh my gosh, it is seriously to die for. I am drooling over this lash. It's so sexy, but yet so beautiful, and it makes the eye look very flirty. Definitely obsessed with this pair. Now we have Mysterious, and this lash, you guys, is super simple. Very soft um it's nothing too heavy this is definitely another lash that i would probably wear during the week where i still want my eye to look awake but yet i don't want too much lash going on so doll face is definitely another one of my favorite eyelashes um look how wispy this looks this looks so bomb um it kind of reminds me a little bit of sasha um but this is definitely a more longer wispy lash but look how beautiful this is oh i am drooling <laughs> And finally, we have Legend. This lash is also one of my other favorites. It's full, long, and wispy. And once you put it on the eyes, look how full this lash looks. But yet, super natural at the same time. But yet, you still have that nice wispy fluff to it. So here we have the Basic Browns Pro Palette, which runs for $27. And you get 30 eyeshadows. If you do sign up, you guys, with um, your email, you get 10% off your first order on their website. Um, so I'm going to be picking up this brown shade here as a transition shade and I'm going to place it towards the outer corner first of my eye and we are going to hug the outer portion of our eye so we're not going to extend it outwards at all to give it that cat eye we want something more closed off so we're going to round it up towards the outer corner and then blend in the crease and then whatever you have left on your brush just buff it out towards the inner corner if you guys are wondering, I'm using a MAC 217 brush. Now I'm going to pick up this more of a darker brown, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to darken it up towards the outer corner and then buff in towards the um, center. And then whatever I have left, I'm going to release it towards the inner corner. Um, and then I'm going to go into a more darker brown, and then I'm going to place it in the exact same place and then just work in that eyeshadow darken it up and intensify it you can definitely stop with the two eyeshadows that i just used but i like it to look a little bit more smokier to blend everything out and make sure that everything looks nice and seamless i'm going into my morphe r40 and i went into the second eyeshadow that we went into and then just buff it in in the crease and just blend all these colors together Going back into the P. Louise base number two, I'm going to use my um, Sigma brush and it's the F75 concealer brush and I'm going to just cut my crease and do a half cut crease. And to blend out the base, I'm going back into that same Morphe brush that I told you guys that I use that does not have a number and I can't find it anywhere. Just use whatever brush you can to blend out the base. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into the first color that we did use in the beginning for our transition shade. I'm going to apply it towards the outer corner and then we're gonna build up with the second eyeshadow that we used earlier and then the third. This is one of the reasons why I really enjoy Be Bella Cosmetic palettes is because they blend out so well. Even if I layer and layer and layer, I, I don't get any chalkiness, I don't get any harsh lines. I get a really nice seamless blending on my eyes. So that's the reason why I honestly really do like their eyeshadow palettes um you guys know that i wouldn't lie to you i wouldn't sit here and say oh my god it's so bomb and then you get it and it sucks like no i definitely do not share any of those palettes on my channel um, i'm always give you guys my honest opinion but these are seriously bomb Using my flat MAC 248 brush with absolutely no setting spray, I'm going to go into this nice um, rosy gold color and I'm going to place this um, for my lid and a little bit towards the outer corner. Um, but after we have done that, I do go back into the R40 brush and then with the second and third dark color that we did use, the browns, I start to warm it up again towards the outer corner so that way we can't tell where it started and where it stopped. 
Then I go into my Schwing Liquid Black Eyeliner, and this one is matte. So the reason why I really like this eyeliner is because one, it dries matte, two, it's so easy to use, and three, it lasts all day to be honest um and i was not gonna go into a wink today but i kind of felt adventurous and i felt very edgy for this nice fall makeup look so i decided to go into um to creating a wing um you definitely don't have to do this you can skip out on the wing but i definitely felt like um i needed one for lashes, I'm going to go into the Be Bella Lashes in the style Bay. I think this pair of lashes is so pretty, and I thought it was going to be a little bit too heavy on my eye with this eyeshadow look, but I was definitely wrong. They look so, so pretty. I'm going to go into some mascara, going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and then I'm going to apply the, the style Bay Lashes from Be Bella. Darken up the outer corner. I'm going to go into my Demolition 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil by Urban Decay. And I'm going to focus this mainly towards the outer corner and just going halfway of my lower lash line. We're not going to take it all the way in. We just want the main focus towards the outer corner. And then I'm going to go into my Sedona Lace, the EB21 brush. And I'm going to be picking up that brown shade that we did use earlier and just smoke out that liner. For my inner corner highlight and to smoke out a little bit towards the lower lash line and to make this eye look more open and more awake because we have a lot of darkness going out towards the outer corner, I wanted something more matte and more bright in my inner corner. Using my chromographic pencil by MAC Cosmetics, I'm going to go into my waterline. This is just going to help to make my eye appear more brighter than dark. I was thinking of going into the brown again, the eyeliner from Urban Decay, but I kind of want this to look more awake rather than smoky. Um, you can definitely do either or whatever you prefer. Now for lips, I'm going to go into my Sigma Venom Liquid Liquid Lipstick and then my Mahogany um, Lip Pencil by MAC Cosmetics. Um, so I definitely was debating if doing like a nude or a peachy nude um, or a red. And I decided to go with a red since I haven't done a red on my channel here recently. So I thought, why not? Let's just slap on a red. I absolutely love this color, you guys. And the combination of these two, I never thought of combining mahogany lip pencil with the more brighter red. And I'm glad I did because I absolutely love the outcome. Um, so if you guys are interested in ordering these, they will be listed down below the names and where you can buy them too. Now we all know how messy a red lip can be, so I'm just going back into my concealer brush from Sigma the F75 and whatever I have left on that brush from the product from the P. Louise um, base, I'm just cleaning up any mistakes around my lips. The goal is to look like Snow White, not like Chupitos. <laughs> I'm only going to the post office and changing my car oil, but let's slap on some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray so my makeup does not go anywhere. All right, my honeys, so that is it for today's eyeshadow tutorial using the Basic Browns by B. Bella Cosmetics palette. I am absolutely obsessed. I really like the way, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that, but I really like the way that these eyeshadows blended. Um, this eyeshadow right here is so beautiful. It is so creamy, not disappointed. If you guys have not checked out any of B. Bella Cosmetics, definitely head over to their Instagram or even on their website. I will link all their stuff down below so you guys can definitely check them out. Um, thank you so much, B. Bella Cosmetics, for sending this over. Of course, these lashes, you guys, are freaking fire. These ones are called Bay, and I am obsessed. I really, really love the way these eyelashes look. If you guys enjoyed this makeup look, please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, but if you do create this, tag me. I would love to see it. Um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me yet. <laughs> of course, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Besitos, los quiero mucho. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!